Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 71 of the Resellers Stew. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about whatever we want to. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne, I know, is going to talk about all her plush she's been selling lately. And that should be fun because I love the plushies. You have the plushies in my office? <laughs> yeah, you're my inspiration for plush, so I want to talk <laughs> about that. And um, But other than that, how's everybody been doing? We didn't have a show last week, so... Lot going on doing good i have been cleaning out my house like i'm trying not to be a hoarder anymore and i'm trying to simplify things so i've already taken two truckloads to goodwill to donate so oh, whoa. Yes. And, that, and i've just started i still have to do my ebay room and so i'm just I'm ready to simplify things and live simply I was just thinking <laughs> about that actually like yesterday i was like i really would like to just get rid of a lot of stuff because you know there was a, a minimalist kind of like philosophy is like if you haven't used it in the last 90 days and you don't think you're gonna use it in the next 90 days you don't really need it exactly Except for in Texas when it has to do with sweaters because you only use those <laughs> for like two weeks so you do have to keep those right and <laughs> speaking of that we have some cold weather coming through today it's freezing yeah. it hasn't hit you yet it's like no I think so about four o'clock about 30 degrees, right? Yeah, it's Yeah, it's cold. supposed to get cold. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I've been thinking about that. I'm like, you know, because I did read that dumb book that, that what was it, Marie Kondo? And it was awful. It was an awful book about, like, I mean, it was so, like, fluffy on getting rid of your stuff. and But the one concept that I didn't get out of it is, like, well, don't keep it if you don't really love it. Love it. You know, yeah. right. I have an echo from somewhere. I can hear it. I know it's not you, Vanessa. You have earbuds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like looking around. I don't think it's me. You're like, Boop, it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> but is it um, anybody do any shopping in the last week? Been going, doing the hitting the Christmas stuff. All the stores have been like putting sales on because they're trying to make space for all the donations that come. Right, yeah. I've been shopping. Okay, I've been see shopping. what I got. You what? I haven't been. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure out where the echo's coming from. I got an e I got an echo. Blah blah blah. Testing. I don't hear an echo. Yeah, I don't hear it now. I don't know. It just comes sporadically. It's so weird. But it people always weird. tell you in the end when you do post them, they're like, that was an echo. I didn't hear it. Oh, I'm God. like, I'm sorry. I, I got to get that over to my producer then, and he can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll let him know to do a better job producing right? my show. So, so what kind of shopping did you do, Miss Tanya? Did you go garage selling? You've been hitting at the thrift stores. Are y'all having big sales yeah. in Houston? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really doing a whole lot of retail shopping yet. I haven't even started Christmas shopping, but, um, I did go this morning and I got this, uh, Balderdash game. It's new sealed. I paid up for it a little bit. I paid, uh, $8.99, but it's going on FBA for $68. Oh, that's good. And then did they not I sell that game in the stores anymore? I don't know. But I did buy a jar this morning, and there were some silver pieces in there, and this really pretty piece mm -hmm. right here. It's not marked or anything, but it's like a vintage uh, gold rhinestone piece. So I'm probably going to list it right at about $30 what I paid for it. And then this is the one I found last week. It's a um, gold choker, but it's actually marked 14 karat gold. Mm -hmm. And um, it's worth $189. It weighs uh, 8 grams. Wow. So that's exciting. <laughs> that's good. I'm still over here trying to look up Boulder Dash and see. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to scrap that, Tonya? You're going to scrap the choker piece? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I scrap all my gold because by the time I would sell it on eBay and eBay takes a chunk of it and PayPal takes a chunk of it, I mean, I might as it's not even worth my time. I can just get... Yeah, and then you don't have to jewelry. worry about those people going like, oh, it was fake. It That's was what yeah. myself, the scammers. Yeah, I agree. It was plated. Exactly. It wasn't even full. Yeah. 
and um, yeah, right. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, sometimes it's better just to take out the hassle and have a little bit less profit than it is to even worry about the hassle of people. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What about you, Vanessa? Have you been shopping lately? No. Um, I think I said this last time. We we recently moved to this house. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to figure out where I fit in here as far as, like, my business. So, like, I'm like, the more stuff I bring in, like, it's just it's just more to figure out. So... I've been on a listing binge, but I can't, it's kind of on hold, like we were talking earlier, like it's just a lot of school stuff with the kids, but yeah, I haven't gone shopping. And if I do, it's usually to the family thrift center to that $2 a day or, you know, yeah. depending oh, on the yeah. Yeah, but I, I find pretty good stuff there, especially like plus size. So, so you have a, do you have like a lot of a backlog like of stuff? I, I have a whole storage unit. Oh, I'm not okay. even going to so like hide good. that like, from you guys, like. Yeah. Know it world. I have a whole storage unit. <laughs> you, are, you are not in lack of inventory. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not at all. But I'm trying to figure out, like, I finally figured out my photo setup, which is right here where we're at. But, um, like, as far as keeping inventory in the storage unit, I kind of don't want to because it's more of, like, what's not listed. So That's what I have in my storage. I have... Yeah. I have like four or five boxes of listed stuff. And then the rest of that 20 by 15 building is like unlisted stuff. And then empty space. Like yeah, well, yeah, I have empty space too to walk. You know, and it's like, this is stupid. I, I don't mm. need this here. Must be nice. I have no <laughs> empty space. <laughs> hey, Tanya, Tanya, are you like one of those people you go to storage and you have to take everything out before you can get, I see this pretty all much. The time. At the storage units, like they're they they have like a mattress and a couch, and then they're trying to get something in the back. Yeah. I, mean, I have like this much walkway. I can walk in, you know. That just you know, just me. Only one person can walk in. Really? Okay. Mine's like, I just have shelves along two walls, and then I have totes stacked up on one wall. But all of the middle is like open because. Yeah, Otherwise, boxes. it's just gonna be there. Like, I'd, it wouldn't even be a functional anything. It would really yeah. be a storage, uh -huh. like permanent yeah like never go back <laughs> yeah just leave it there don't think about it yeah out of sight out of mind yeah i think the one good thing that i did with that storage unit was that i did put listed stuff there so it required me to go back over there otherwise i would just have that stuff there and it would be there forever yeah that's a yeah. good point you know and i wouldn't You're right i didn't think about that you know it would be kind of like oh it's just there but every time I go there to get something out, I'm just like, ah, I gotta list gotta this take a box. Yeah, yeah, like it weighs on me. I don't just forget yeah. about it. You know what? I should think about that. Because I have it all behind my couch. Like it looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a table behind my couch. Like it's three three rows of three box three on three on. Just three decorate it and, with like some Christmas slides. I have a blanket. I have a blanket on top of it a, to make it look like scene. it's supposed to be there. <laughs> But yeah, I know I'm not fooling anybody. They all know that I'm, they all know what's up. People come visit, they're like, mm hmm, we know you got stuff back there. What about you, Miss Yvonne? I know you went up, you went up the mountain with your daughter, right? Yes. We, several, see, we didn't do last week, so several quick mountain trips. Um, Hannah and I did our first, um, I did my first live haul. I've done live shows, but not live haul. And Hannah was at the helm and answered questions and handled the chat for me. So, uh, and I showed all the great stuff that we got and what we've already sold. That's so, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. Definitely way made, we've already made back plenty of money for what we spent and covered our hotel bill. That's awesome. Ooh, nice. It's so much fun, you guys. We, we never went more than like three and a half hours away. And it is off season. So hotels are, so hotels are like, I don't know what, 50, 60 bucks. <laughs> But it's fun. So I recommend it to anybody if you need, you know, it's like a reset. Being out of town is like a reset. But at the same time, we're still working, you know? Yeah. So. yeah. You know, I really, um, you know, I've talked before about how much I kind of, I really want to travel. And, and what I, what I treasure is experiences over stuff, you know? And I really, like the other day, I had to take a day trip out. It wasn't a fun trip. But I had to pick up my rental car at the airport. And 
Well, I was at the airport and I was looking at all the people and they're going places and they're, you know, what, whatever the reason for their travel is. And I was just like, you know, I'd really like to spend more time here, mm. you know, like going somewhere, you know? Mm. And so I, that's really something I think I'm going to try to focus on in the next year is really kind of wrapping up my, my life and my business on that way that I have an opportunity to go like visit people and meet people and do things and and it would all be like a business related thing so that's a bonus mm -hmm. you know yeah. so i really we like to do that we should like take a trip somewhere deb <laughs> <laughs> we'll go Where see yvonne in colorado i've never oh, been up north. i've never been up north like never mind up. i won't say it and i've never <laughs> been west i've only just been oh. up, like east <laughs> I'm planning a big, huge road trip. I'm going to go to Vegas and stop and see um, Jason, of course, and then go on to California. I want to see what it's like. First, I've never been to California, that ocean. I've been as far as Vegas. Beautiful. And so I kind of want to go to the ocean. Hannah's never been, so I'm taking Hannah. And Mary can go if she wants. Um, and so I'm going to try to do the same thing, like visit a few other resellers and then try to make money to cover the whole trip, yeah. you know, at least. So Maybe it's I'm going to talk to my kid and ask her, like, if she wants to just, like, do online school for a year and we just travel the U.S. <laughs> oh, my you God. Know? You think she'd say no? Like, she who would run, say no to that? Pull off the, you know, off of the phone data and just take a year off. Oh, my God. Would be I homeschooled funny. Hannah. After, well, not, not at the age that, not till after high school, but. I, I think that. it would be easier for her to take off a year like a sixth grade than it would be to take off as like 11th grade because yeah, uh -huh. it's so much more complicated, you know, I, th I think, uh, I think it would, but I, d I don't think she'd go for it because she's kind of excited about going to junior high, oh. but maybe she won't like it and then I can go <laughs> and I'll be totally justified. Yeah, right. I think she'll like it. <laughs> Middle school is different. Middle school was fun. Middle school was I had so much fun school. in middle school. Mm -hmm. A lot more freedom for sure. That was yeah. when I met yeah. all my friends and like my best friends, and we yeah. sat on the phone for hours. And I had a was... pager in middle school. Oh, I'm much older than you. I had a pager at like 17. <laughs> that was so fun. I remember people used to send you like codes on your pager. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um. I went and did some shopping. Uh, I've been doing really well on doing the in and out of stores. Just, you know, going in and spending very little time there, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of max. And it's really been great for what I've been picking up. And it worked really good because the stuff that I got last time I went and did like a little whoof of shopping, I listed those 20 things. And then I'm at like, um, I'm at a 40, 40% sell through rate on the stuff that I listed last week. Oh. That's great. That's a really good turnaround. And great. it would actually be higher if I was more willing to accept an offer that somebody, I probably should have accepted it, but I just listed the stuff, you know? So I, I decided to wait. It'll sell. But that's really what I'm kind of looking for is just going in and finding the best stuff, listing the best stuff, and it's selling, you know, 50% 50, 50 would be great. If 50% of what I listed every week sold through, that would be amazing, you know? And uh, especially because it's the best kind of stuff that I'm finding at the store instead of just like bread and butters. So, um, but I did find something that I'm like, oh, like I've been passing by this item for years because I thought it was just basic. Um, I've been passing by these waffle irons and the, you can see this one was five bucks because I thought, oh, this is just, you know, it's just a waffle iron, like nothing. It's not a Pizel or Pizel or whatever maker, nothing special. Um, and I felt like a ding dong because when I actually did look it up, I had some extra time. I was with another reseller we met up for the day um, who lives here locally. And when I looked it up, I was like, this is worth i think like at least fifty dollars used it's one of the villa wares let's see villa wear. i'm trying to bring it up because i don't want to just talk about it let me find it 
I'm not sure. It's not this one. It's the round one like that. That one's $33.99 plus shipping. But for $5, I'm like, why have I been passing by these like normal looking waffle makers? Like this is a square oh, wow. one. $70? And like, I'm like, here's one that's like mine. $35 plus shipping. I'm like, these are only waffle makers. They're nothing like the square one's 50 bucks. And I'm like, I've been passing by. Here's another one, $59. This is the model I have. I have a Disney one. I have the Disney one. Uh, it's over in the storage. It's a, oh. it's a Mickey and Minnie. Where did it go? Oh, I, oh this is Cinderella, huh? I'm surprised yeah. that didn't sell. They should have took a picture oh, of the agree. inside, not a picture of the outside. I agree. This would have sold better as a gallery photo than this. Yeah. yeah. What is it? The carriage? It's yeah. It's the carriage with the prince and Cinderella inside. Oh, that's, oh that's, cute. that's cute. That's adorable. They need to take a different picture and a close-up of that. Yeah, there's only two photos. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Then, I, then I would raise the price. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one like that. No, me neither. Me neither. I thought that'd we said for like a Disney trip. Yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. great. That would, oh, that would be Disney. awesome as like a surprise we're going yeah, to Yeah, I was yeah, just thinking yeah. that. <laughs> like, That's what I was thinking. Aww. But yeah, I've been passing by these simple waffle makers. I bought two other ones. One was a Toastmaster. The other one was some kind of brand. And it actually had flippable plates. It's waffle on one side and pizza on the other. And they were selling for $40, $50, $60. Dollars. And I'm like, I have spent Aww. years passing up waffle makers because I just thought they weren't Special. Sometimes they can be dirty, you know? Like, but you don't have to get the ones that are dirty. This one's not yeah, dirty. Yeah. This one's totally clean inside. And there was ones there that were dirty, but none of the ones I bought were dirty. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, I know a lot of people when they, when I talk about appliances and things like that, and they're like, oh, but they're gross. they're dirty. I'm like, well, don't find the dirty ones. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. That was a stupid statement. Yeah, well, people would say. say that about plush. <laughs> no, they would say that about plush, too. It's not stupid. Um, and they'd be like, oh, well, what do you do when they're dirty? I'm like, don't buy dirty ones. You know, <laughs> if they've got a stain, don't get it. You know? <laughs> I wash them, and I just don't dry them in the dryer. I don't do any extra effort with them besides spray us. If it has a little spot, I'll spray it with some Folex and wipe it off, and that always works. If I have to do anything more than that, because I don't even like doing my own laundry, <laughs> <laughs> washing bears and stuff, like, just not going to happen. Plus, sometimes it washes off the tush tag. Oh, that's the letter. True. Yeah, the writing on the tush tag won't make it through the wash. For some, you have to yeah, be. Yeah, because it's probably not made for that. But you're right. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then another thing I picked up was these really cool shoes. They are FSNY. I know that stands for something fashion something or something like that. FS. Anyway, that's the inside. But look at them. They've got all these um, animals. Oh, I over love them. them. Aren't those what size are they? They are, I think, a nine. They're made in Italy, so they don't have the size. Oh, they're a 40. So that's what, a nine, right? Nine and a half? I, yeah, I was going to say maybe a 10. I know, nine, I know 40 is supposed to be a 10, but 40 always is like a nine and a half. It never really is a 10. But, yeah, aren't they adorable? They are. Oh, I too. love them. Yeah got those and then another thing that i've been trying to pay more attention to that i've been sleeping on for years are scales we always just see them oh. they're just there they're stacked up you're like eh. and what's been showing up at them recently are like the fitbit scales i've been finding I was about to say that. that more often the wi-fi enabled scales are always going to sell for a good amount of money but this particular one i paid 3.99 for it and it does all kinds of measurements for you, um, like your body fat, your water content, your bone oh. density, like all this other stuff. And this particular one, let me bring it up so you know I'm not just blowing smoke. Let's see. P, ring, IPA, BF, 625. This one was selling used. Sure. 
There's one for $50 and one for $38.96. And on completed, uh, let's see. It's not bringing up the ones I saw. But anyway, oh, here they are. There's new for $60. The ones I was bringing up were selling for like $35, had sold for $35. So I was like for $3.99 and I really don't have to do anything besides put a battery in it. It works for me. Yeah. So I've been trying to look at sales lately. Just they're getting fancier and fancier. You know, pretty soon they're gonna be able to tell you like, oh, you have a cold today and you weigh 180 pounds. You know? <laughs> yeah. You need to get your ear checked. You know? Somebody in the chat said you should write a book about plush. I, yeah, but you know, people ask me about plush, and um, I honestly don't know the rhyme or reason behind plush. Um, there are things that sell for. Are you playing maracas, Tanya? I'm sorry, I was just looking at the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's that noise? I didn't know y'all could hear me. <laughs> I won't touch it no more. Um, you know, like, there just really isn't a rhyme or reason to me. Like, people, sometimes brands, like, brands that come out of the crane machines will sell for $30. And you're like, why? You know, this is nothing. This is a toy factory brand yeah. it made out of junky materials. You know, it probably has lead in it, you know. And yeah. um, and they're $30. And it's because people, A, they collect them. Like, they collect that animal or they collect that color. Or they, um, it's sentimental to them as a gift that they used to have. Or, you know, it's just something that just don't make a whole lot of sense as to why yeah. some of the $20 and $30 plushes sell. And if you want to get really sketchy, the $12 and $15 plushes, those just sell for no reason at all. They just sell because they're, they're a pink bear. You know, it's just like... <laughs> Yeah. Somebody just liked it. They just looked and go, oh, I love that purple pig. And that's it, you know? Yeah. Huh. But, okay, so let's go to some solds. Tanya, what did you sell? What you got good? You know, I know you're going to show us something fantastic. I am. Um, I'm gonna you're always showing us something that makes us go, woo. <laughs> okay. Okay, can y'all see what my, my bracelet? I hope. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so you guys, I hope I didn't already talk about this one. Um, so I picked this up for $6, and it was a um, Navajo signed Don Platero Sterling Silver uh, Turquoise Cuff Bracelet. And I, of course, I did my research and um, ended, ended up selling for $149. So I was super excited about that. And there you can see the hallmark right there. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Okay. And then um, let's see, this morning I sold this is a um, one of the music boxes that I was talking about. I picked this up for $2 at a garage sale and it sold for $50. And I got to get that shipped today also. So, and I've got like about three other unicorn ones. I bought them all at the same garage sale for $2 each. Unicorns are a thing right now. I know, and narwhals too. My daughter was always talking about narwhals. What's the one of a narwhal? It looks like a seal, but like with a super long unicorn horn. Oh, super like on like an elf. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I thought I'd talk, talk about these. I sold these for $25. They're the Dansko. Uh, leather clogs, Stansko is always a good brand to sell. And I can't remember what I paid for these. It's been a while since I've had them, probably about 5 or $7. Yeah, I picked up some black patent leather ones. I haven't bought any Danskos in a long time because I'll only buy them if they have a, like a pattern or something special about them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to stop screen sharing. Okay, there. <laughs> Did I stop it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Sure did. All right. I got Vanessa's. Let's see. Um, let me share. Not that. Not that there. Okay. And all right. You have 
this Ikea plush. Okay, so I had bought that for my daughter when she was little. And I, I was about to donate it to Goodwill. And I was like, well, let me just look it up. And I had bought them another one, too, at the same time. But I sold that one a long time ago because I never played with it. And um, sure enough, it sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. Um, I don't. These are still being sold at IKEA. I don't know why people are buying them. Are the is the Asian one still being sold? Mm -hmm. I I think so. I want to say the last time I went, they had it. Well, you gotta think too. It's not everybody has an IKEA. <laughs> they don't do IKEA online though. I don't know if they have it in the store. I can look. Oh, you're right. What's the yeah. tag look like? Can we see the tag? Oh, oh sorry. Can I take a picture of the tag. I just need to know what to look for. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. They're pretty generic looking. Um, sometimes they have that outfit on the pink, the the pink and white stripes or the blue and white stripes. Or if they're naked. Naked. They're just. Yeah, they're just. Where where um where Deb go? I'm right here. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know if I took a picture of the tag. Okay. Um, I don't um, think I did. It, I think they just have the typical IKEA tag that's kind of plain. Yeah. And doesn't um like it's just white see, and see him. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, they didn't have the little black one either. Whenever we bought ours, because I wanted to buy them like a variety, and they just had the little white boy and the Asian girl, or the they don't really make them. They make them general, like they're not. Sexes. You can put like a pink outfit on it or a blue. Yeah, where um, they're girls or boys. They're not, they're like binary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, but yeah, that, see, and they didn't have that one that's more. Um, wow, those really sell for well. They do. Yeah, I had no idea. I would have actually probably looked this up when I saw it because it's so odd looking to me. Mm -hmm. Like it's yeah, not. Yeah, they do I, look odd. Yeah, I try to pay attention to anything that looks different. Um, and I would have arms move. Yeah, I would have probably like their arms and their legs. Them. They they move, but their they're joined, um, they're like their shoulder, their their elbows and their knees don't move, but their arm joints and their leg joints move. Wow, Does that makes sense. You know what I'm talking about. So you can sit it. You could put it in a sitting position. Yeah, we'll have see I'll, how that I'll arm's sitting because we have an IKEA. We're actually getting a second one. I don't know why we need a second IKEA. But, oh yeah, wow. uh, yeah. We don't even have a second one. Yeah, they're building one um, on the other side of town. So the one that we have now is in Round Rock, which is like the north side suburb of Austin. And then they're going to put another one, I think, in San San Marcos, or they're, I know they're putting one in, like the south side suburb of Austin. Would it do good in San Marcos for sure? Yeah, because yeah, of college, mm -hmm. university. Yeah. Oh, I stopped sharing. Hang on. Let me get your jacket up here. Okay, and then you got this cool jacket. Yeah, off. I got that at the Family Thrift. I think, I think it was I on Dollar. Oh, I like that. It was on Dollar Day. Oh, yeah. and, wow. Uh, my daughter actually wanted to keep it, and I was like, no, I don't see you wearing that here. Like, for real, I don't, I don't think which, in Houston we would get away with wearing that. Which, uh, <laughs> which thrift do you go to? Do you go to the one off of Almeida? So, yeah, the one we met at that time. Yeah, See, that's you know the one what? Let's just talk for a second about this. So a <laughs> lot of people are always giving Paul Cantu a hard time about all the cool stuff he finds. I'm telling you guys, Houston is like a, a mega treasure chest for stuff like this. I mean, look, I Vanessa picked this up for a buck. Yeah. So I mean, we, we find stuff like this all of the yeah, time. It's, it's no joke. Like you can. Okay, so that one on Ellen Genoa, is that the one that's no longer an outlet? Is it not? I've not been in a while. I, I want to say that it's not, but it's still a family thrift center. But there's also okay. one on Highway 3. I know. Like, I've seen Paul go to, like, two and of them. Is it good? That one is not very – that one's good. And there's hardly ever a crowd there. And like, there Highway 3. And people there, it's generally people purchasing for their own use. Right, exactly. It's so It's not like usually I... resellers. Because you can tell when it's a reseller versus somebody – buying things for their home versus somebody buying things to take like to their country. Um, yeah. You know, you could kind of tell cause they're looking for like a general size, you know, stuff like that. And then these 
<clears throat> I've seen these at the store quite often. I've actually sold these before myself. My mom, we had given that to my mom, ooh, years ago for Christmas, like my sisters and I, this is when we were like high schoolers. Um, we had given her the, the paraffin wax thingy or whatever for mm -hmm. her birthday or Christmas. And that's what was left in there. So I was like, oh, I can sell this. The, the wax thing didn't work anymore. And I think it was too big. So I donated that, but I took that out of the box. This is actually a pretty common, it's, it's a pretty common item at the thrift store. Um, I used to pick them up because they're really easy to sell, but, um, yeah, I just put it in a flat rate. Yeah. Envelope. They'll go in like a regional A box or a flat rate envelope or, you know, mm -hmm. if, if they have the box, you can put them in a regional A and, um, they sell really well. The problem that I ran into was that for some reason, Goodwill started jacking up the price on them. And like it would just be like one cube of wax and be like ten dollars. I'm like, you guys are nuts. Mm, that's so, what it sells for on eBay. Yeah, I stopped buying them just just because of the price that they were charging. Um, mm. But they're definitely an easy pickup and an easy buy. That's for sure. Yeah, mm. yeah it was really easy just to take the pictures and they know measurements and stuff. That's what I liked about it. All right, I got Miss Yvonne solds up y'all with all her favorite yeah. colors. I always like looking at your solds because they're always so fun looking. Right. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Iwan? Um, well, oh, you know what? Did you guys know Fitflop makes boots? <laughs> yeah, I did because I ran into some at the thrift store a couple years ago. I just yeah. saw those this morning. Um, yeah, they, um, Fitflop, like I have a friend who um, only wears fit flops like she'll wear them year round because she has problems with her feet um, and they're like the only thing that she can wear that doesn't hurt like her plantar fasciitis oh okay uh, yeah those are going out here this afternoon and um i don't know if i've had any real oh wait a minute yeah because we missed last week can you scroll down a little bit can i <laughs> can i drop ronnie hart's name again it's been a long time since i Let's... said ronnie hart on the resellers too <laughs> Wh which one Okay, so um, from him, you know, of course I learned, um, okay, that's too far. It's some men's Italian shirts, like $68 and 60. They sold really quick. There's a, there's one, one right the, there. The Brunelli? Yes, that's the first, I knew about that from Ronnie Hart, but that's the first time I actually found one for myself in the wild. Now, when you look at that price, please take in mind, okay, first of all, it was $3.99, so that's a great deal. Yep, Pan and I got it on one of our trips, and that one is just cotton. There's no silk or cashmere, and still I got what? What that say? Sixty dollars for it? Oh, this one says seventy-eight. I don't know if you took an offer. Okay. Or I might have. Or maybe that that was the sixty-eight dollar one, and then there was another one. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. There's another one. Laura Piana. Right here. That should be sixty-eight. Yeah. Again, that was just an all cotton sweater. If that would have been silk and cashmere, you know, it'd probably be 150 to 250. Um, but those were both 3.99. At this little, those were from Canyon City, which is just a prison town. That's where Supermax is, and all of our prison systems are down in that town. The only other tourist attraction is the Gold, as um, Royal Gorge, but mostly it's a prison town. Most everybody works there. There's not a lot of money in that town, but could have been a gift. Yeah. Well, so, that's awesome. Um, huh? That's a nice turnaround on three ninety nine. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I already gave Ronnie props, but you know, and I've had a few interesting sales, some vintage stuff. But you know what? Can we talk about my push plush project? Yes. So, I yes. didn't bring it up. Hang on. Let me get it up here. That's I a better thing for us to talk about because my inspiration, of course, I. I've known Deb since about 2011 or 12 from Paul's reseller wake up show. Yeah. I remember. And you used to be a little bigger in plush. That's all I did. It yeah. was pretty much all I did because I didn't have a lot of money back then. I only had a very small amount of money to invest in inventory. And so plush was just cheap. It was just the cheapest way to make, mm -hmm. to make profit, you know, and that's all I it's did. Was so right, yeah, go. that's a gateway. It's better than mugs. Um, so apparently, a couple years ago, I was buying a lot of plush. 
Well, it was in some bins. And then last summer when I decided no more hard goods, just clothing to focus because, you know, now I'm doing, you know, merch t-shirts. I still got poker. I'm just, my life's a lot busier. And, um, and then I'm doing some cryptocurrency. I'm like, something's got to get it. This focus. is a really common one to find at the thrift store, this Commonwealth unicorn. Little baby store. So I, have, instead, I almost I have, gave it all away. I almost gave all my plush away. But anyways, Hannah just took a, she's been working it. We set her up a little station. She comes over and she's been working it. And in the last three weeks, we've sold almost $400 worth of plush. That's that amazing. What? That I was about to give I got to go back to the thrift store this afternoon. <laughs> oh my God. Like officially plush is now part of my eBay hustle. It's in my second store. If you guys want to go look, hashtag deals. Um, she's listed all of it though. Wow. So apparently I knew something about plush because I got some winners. The last one that sold, let's just show the highlight. The last one that sold was Balto. Okay. Now, how did you know that was Balto? You just knew or did you look it at that? It says it on the, the tag, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, tag. Okay. And then last week we found an old VHS and so we bought 128 it. 128 bucks? And Hannah reworked it and made a bundle, a gift bundle. That yeah. is so smart. Wow. I'm impressed. So, he just paid full price. Just popped on it. Yeah. Um, his name is, guess what his name is? What's what? his name? <laughs> Bolto. <laughs> Bolto. Bolto. <laughs> so he collects Bolto stuff. And um, it came through its PayPal was Bolto something, definitely. That's awesome. Oh, I that see. That is I awesome. See. What, like That's three funny. or four dollars at the most? He's 18 yeah. inches. That's not too big. I'm sure no more than three dollars for that. Yeah. So you know, um, I've been blowing up Instagram a little bit about this and some Facebook groups. I joined mm -hmm. Julie Casa Sheik's plush group that she started. So I'm gonna. It's officially part of my eBay hustle. So I will add that to my nightly looking at souls, so I can yeah. start to educate myself of what is hot yeah. and plush because that is some money. Yeah. So, and, and, and on the topic of this unicorn, th this is a very common unicorn to find at the store. That went to Japan. This is a really, really common, like, you. this Commonwealth unicorn I think I have seen at least 10 times in my plush lifetime. Um, they come in different colors, and that's yeah. about the price range. Yep. That's so awesome. So, so Yvonne, fun. when the show is over, will you link that group in the uh, reseller stew? Yeah, I will. A private That's a group, I think. She has to add you to it. Oh, is it like a pay group? Like you no, have to pay? No, it's just on Facebook. It's just Julie Cash yeah. Sheep. Mm. And then, I don't know if anybody else has one. I just like Julie, of course, so I picked that one to join. Yeah, I didn't see it. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. You can't. Okay. She has to link. She has to add you herself. Like it's a private group. It's not. Uh, I think it's not where you can search oh. for it. You're right. Oh, she said friend me first. You're right, Deb. Yeah. I get what Deb's saying. So go so yeah. find her and friend her. I will I'll if you can't do it, I'll hook you up. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> or DM her over on Instagram, Tanya. What's her name again? Julie Casa Sheik. She's the one that does Casa Sheik's tip of the day. And yeah. Oh, Casa Sheik. I think I, I think you'll, you'll follow you know her. her. You'll recognize her. Okay. All right, so I sold, I just talked about this, and I sold it, this gizmo uh, can opener. It went on best offer for $50. Um, so I sold that. It sold really quickly, less than a week. I paid uh, $5 for it because it was half price. It was $9.99 and then half price. Um, nice. And I ended up selling another jelly cat. And I wanted to talk about this jelly cat, even though we were talking about plush with Yvonne. The reason why I wanted to talk about it was because this jelly cat was the reason why I got over my listing hurdle, where I wasn't listing because my setup wasn't that great. I had stuff on my table. I was finding every excuse I could come up with as to why I wasn't able to function at that time. And I had this little jelly cat in my hand, and I looked it up. And I was like, oh, okay, these are selling for like 20 something dollars. I was like, I really should just get this listed because I had it right there in my hand. And I was looking around trying to find a place to take a picture. And I just pulled out my backdrop and, and literally just put it over all the stuff that was on that on my table. 
Like I, and, and it was like, I just took the pictures and I was like the, these two pictures, that's it. And I was like, this is fine. This is good enough. And ended up listing him just right there on my phone, which I don't normally do. I'm a computer lister. And I listed it right there on my phone. And I was like, I got to just stop with this perfectionist BS and just list <laughs> my stuff. Yeah. And I sat there and I listed nine more things just with a piece of paper sitting on top of a bunch of crap underneath here. There's so much <laughs> stuff underneath that white piece of paper. And I sat there and I listed nine more things. And then the next day I did the exact same thing. I listed 10 things. And so I listed those 20 things and those are the 20 things that have been selling. Those are the, the 40% of those 20 things that that's, that's what I've been selling this week. Um, wow. And it was just because of this little lamb and I'm just like, you know what? I just need to list this. I, you know, progress, not perfection. You know? And it totally worked out. And I ended up listing this as well. I talked about this before about the burr grinders and that they're normally really good to sell. I took a best offer of $40 and it went off to New York. Um, they fit perfectly in a medium flat rate box. It's like the box was made for this blender. I mean, this grinder. Um, so yeah, burr grinders are great to buy. Look them up. They're not hard to spot. And some of them are worth like a hundred and some odd dollars used. Wow. So yeah, just definitely look those up. And I was going to show you something I sold on Amazon, but I didn't log in. So I guess anyway, so yeah, I just stop like trying to perfect everything and having like oh my background and my lighting and my this has to be the certain way dude just list your stuff because it sold the pictures that i took were fine there wasn't anything wrong with it the listing that i did was simple it i was just going off of mm -hmm. solds and sell similars and the way that the phone the, you know the phone app is working now you enter your keywords and it actually finds a listing that's similar to what you have and you hit it and you just list it like that. It doesn't have to be with the perfect lighting and the perfect angle and, and, and all of this, just list it, just list your stuff. Yeah. yeah you guys got me so excited to sell some plush. <laughs> plush is the best. I wanted to it ask a question good. though, while we have an audience, does anybody recognize this little mouse? This is, I know, this is I know this is no, I know this is vintage just because the material is starting to like, you know how that the looks like a handmade plush. I know, but it's like, I don't know. I didn't know if anybody recognized him. He kind of looked like he reminds <laughs> me of if you give a mouse a cookie mouse. Oh, but he's not. He he looks or she looks vintage. Like yeah, she's made no, from. definitely vintage. It's the material is definitely looks like couch vintage. material, like from back in the day. Totally. It's like totally yeah. couch material. And you know but what? Know like, Yvonne, really him. like Yvonne said, uh, plush is a lot easier to ship too than the coffee mugs, right? Oh, Yvonne? Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the back. <laughs> I just don't even know what to look for. Like, there's just look so for much odd of it. And unusual. That's another one. Like, unusual looking. Um, and then the tag that was it you that said Deb? Like if the tag is embroidered, that means something. I, I don't think somebody I said don't it. Think so. it wasn't you. No. I I remember hearing that one time. So anytime I, like I see the like the embroidered tag, I look it up. But I mean I look up anything that looks like unusual. I'm trying to think of what has an embroidered tag. The only thing I know that has an embroidered tag is like Douglas. Gun. Gun or gun Guns, or whatever. They have a really thick tag. I haven't looked uh -huh. at a gun in a while. Because uh, Jelly Cat doesn't even have an embroidered cat. No, Jelly um, Cat just has its Jelly Cat. I don't have one over here. I don't know why I was looking like I had one. Um, <laughs> but they're easy to spot, though. I mean, their tag is so distinguishable, and the, and they're all the same shape. Like, it's kind of hard to miss them. But I find that even if you know, like, what sells, like, in hard goods, it'll generally sell in plush. So, like, if you find an owl... Mm -hmm. You know, that, that'll sell in plush. Um, because people collect those things. People collect panda bears, mm -hmm. certain kinds of dogs, uh, 
yeah. reptiles, cows, pigs, elephants. I mean, I used to know this lady that was my friend's mom when I was a kid. And her whole house was full of elephants. Just she had a whole room yeah. of just elephant plush stuffed animals, and then her cabinet was full of elephant figurines, and just people just collect all that stuff. It's so easy to to get into, and honestly, if you buy something that isn't worth anything, what did you invest in it? A whole lot of nothing. And if you have a dog, now it has a toy. You know, yeah. right. and yeah. <laughs> like, I do that all the time. I'm like, look, you have a bear. <laughs> yeah, let's say that all that plus I have maybe fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And she's almost brought in four hundred in three weeks. Yeah. So and if you, do, yeah. if, if you do find plush, that's like that little dog that I showed y'all before that doesn't have plastic on it and it doesn't have beads. Donate them to your animal shelter. Oh, yeah. If it doesn't have plastic yeah. for them to choke on and it doesn't have beads inside, they totally will take them as dog toys. Hey, I have a quick uh, random question. So, Yvonne, with your second store, do you use a different email address for your PayPal? Or does no. it all, all your money goes to the same account? Yeah. Yes. I would like to have a different one so I could keep that money separate so I wouldn't actually spend it. So like I would know exactly how much money I was making off of all my plush, you know, and just like work with my main PayPal account and yeah, just save all the other money. Up, they don't let you set up multiple business accounts unless you have like a LLC or like a, like if they, um, because all of your identification numbers are the same. And so you can only have a personal oh, and a business. They don't let you do like multiple business accounts unless and, and unless you're like set up separately, like separate bus business kind of numbers. I guess you could always have a separate bank account for that and just like transfer, transfer the money. In. Yeah, yeah, that's what you can yeah. do. Transfer it to a different. Yep. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, that won't work either because it's going to all be in the same PayPal. You just have to no, look. No, you can yeah, you you would say would like these twenty dollars. I'm going to oh, transfer to this account or whatever. Right. So are you saving that money, Yvonne, to use your plush money for something special? No, I guess, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing my usual, I'm just, I, I kind of treat it as all the same business. It's just that my clothing is going to be in one thing and hard goods is and anything under, uh, and some like, t like Harley shirts under $20, which, you know, I've been putting in there. Um, I'm just going to do my usual where I take out, you know, back what I spent, cost of goods, so that I can go back out and buy more. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And, you know, if there's anything that you could, oh, yeah, Joni was saying that Easy Auction Tracker will separate it out for you. Oh. You, because Easy Auction Tracker, you can put as many um, usernames as you want on there. It's going to pull all the information, and it'll have it separate for you. How much is that? Mm -hmm. It's $50 a year, and it's totally worth it. Buy it. Everybody needs to get it. If you don't have it, you're missing out. I've never done it yet, but that's pretty affordable, isn't it? Fifty dollars a year? Yeah. You got an affiliate link? That's cheap. I do. I do. I have okay. an affiliate link, and, and it's cheaper to follow each following year. You get a discount, and it's only forty bucks. I better do that if I'm going to run a second store, huh? Yeah, it and like it's I only like it'll pull all of your stores or all of your usernames. It doesn't even have to be a store because my other account is just a like a, just a regular account. It's not even a store, and it'll pull all the information, and it keeps it separate. So you just like there's like a toggle and it'll be like oh you know you click on one or click on the other and it brings them it brings them up. Thanks, Joni. <laughs> yeah, I love that thing. It's it's so good like for accounting your eBay stuff and keeping yeah, things. I like Easy yeah. Auction Tracker. I got on that because of you, Deb. So does anybody have anything exciting going on? Anything they want to talk about mm. going on this week, Yvonne? You got any shows coming out? Uh, maybe I, I might do a sold video, but you know, I've already like ranted on IG and here and Facebook about the highlights. I don't know if I really need to do, one or not. you know, this time of year is hard holidays. Like they're in our face, like lots of family stuff and extra little things to do for all of us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I, I want to talk about something 
Right. So um, I successfully finished sending out all of my uh, Thrifty Treasures uh, subscription jewelry boxes. <laughs> okay, that's oh, that's no. something I want to talk about, and I'm not really talking about it because Tanya is my friend. Okay. Um, so I don't do jewelry. I'm not a jewelry person. You can see I don't have anything going on besides my ring, which I sometimes don't even wear. And um, I wanted to get Tanya's box because, A, I wanted to see what she was doing so I could give her some feedback. But B, I was like, you know, this would be kind of fun to see if maybe I do find something that I like and maybe it might introduce me <laughs> to jewelry because I go to the store and it's really overwhelming, you know, like right. there's so much stuff, you know. Yeah. And so I opened up her box today and I was totally impressed with like the way that it was packaged and it was really like, okay, I'm going to be honest. Like when I got it and it was just a little brown box, I was like, Tanya, this sucks. You know, <laughs> and like I opened it up. I should have brought it with me. I opened it up and it was all inside of this little red metallic gift box that comes out. And then you open that and it's all inside <laughs> and little baggies. And it, it, it was really nice. Like I was surprised. It totally worked out because I looked at it and I was like, I really hope she didn't put this stuff in this brown box because this is awful. <laughs> And, and I was totally excited when I opened up the presentation was great. And I, the one thing that I wanted to say, I talked about this with actually with April. I was on the phone with her before the show and I was so impressed that you got that put together like that because I would have overanalyzed it so much mm -hmm. that I never would have ever gotten that released because yeah. I would have been like trying to perfect it. And I think you did a great job and I think it's totally worth it. Like I loved those gold earrings that you sent um okay. that was like my favorite uh, out of that whole box so good i'm so cool. glad you liked it what is yeah. this I, i'm sorry i'm i'm lost so it's like she, a subscription so, box it's a subscription box and you get it once a month it's 19.99 and that includes shipping and you get two pair of earrings two bracelets one necklace one brooch and a surprise mystery item so oh. um yeah, and, and you know, I really did spend a lot of time putting those together. <laughs> um, um, you know, just trying to match the pieces of jewelry with what, um, you, you know, the customer requested. Like, I'll send them a styling survey and they tell me what kind of items they like, whether they're a gold or silver person, um, and just, you know, some other questions. And it helps me to decide what I'm going to put in the box. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't fill out the survey. Tanya, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And so Deb, and I have to say, you can also order a surprise box, a total surprise box like Deb did. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what do, you, what do you mean? You know, she didn't even tell me what she liked. She told me she liked gold and that was about all I had to go on. Yeah. So. I didn't know what I want. You know, I was like, I have no idea. I'm not a jewelry person, but I thought it would be a fun opportunity for 20 bucks to like maybe find something that I'd like or get out of my comfort zone. And, and because I'm never going to buy it at the store. I'm just not going to. I'm one of those people that I sit there and I look at it and I go, oh, wow, that's nice. But I never, ever buy anything. So, yeah. I know. That's like um, yesterday I was watching Eric College Pickers video. And by the way, he was thrifting in California, Yvonne, if you want to go and check that out. Um, Eric, oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, I saw a whole bunch of jewelry jars in his video. So, I was like, oh my gosh. And he just like totally doesn't even look at them. And that's like me with electronics. You know, a lot of my guy yeah. friends buy up all the electronics. And to me, there's no telling how much gold I pass up, you know, just in electronics at garage sales and stuff. I just, my brain doesn't work that way, right? And so guys don't, I guess, work that way either. Most of them, they just pass right by it. Yeah, but I just wanted yeah. to say kudos to you, Tanya, because I know you've been talking about doing that box for a long time. And actually like getting it together and doing it that's that's really something I know. Like having having a finished product is amazing because you can talk about ideas for years but if you don't actually make it happen it's yeah. ideas worthless and so i'm so excited that you actually got that to completion because i know you've been talking about that for like ever thank wow, you so much i really appreciate it and like once oh. people send me money i felt really obligated to get it out ASAP. <laughs> you're like i have all your cash <laughs> so how do people sign up for those tanya yeah Are um, you so, um not yet um i feel like i'm still small enough that i really don't have to do that if it if you know if it continues to grow then i'll look into that but um i have a group on facebook it's called thrifty um thrifty treasures jewelry group 
I'm drawing a blank oh, right yeah. now because I'm being put on the spot. But um, yeah, yeah or you one. can private message me and I can send you the link to sign up. Did you make oh, the okay. website cool. live or did you actually do that or not? Because I, I know you sent me a website to look at. The website is live, but I need to make some changes. So I don't really want to announce that. Okay. Uh, okay. But I will soon. Well, I will say that it's totally worth it. And if you like jewelry, it is definitely up your alley. And if you're like me, where it's, you're neither here nor there about it, I was really excited to get it. I I, I, well, I got it yesterday and I didn't open it because I wasn't really sure what to do. about it. This is my enthusiasm with jewelry, right? I'm just like, hey. And then I opened it this morning and I was like, oh, this is so cute. So, yeah, it was it was definitely nice. And uh, I think the price point's great. So it would be a nice gift for somebody that you know that, yeah, that likes I think jewelry. they would enjoy it as a surprise. If you know that they like jewelry, I think it would be something they would enjoy as a surprise gift. Definitely. Like I would order I would order a box if somebody else was doing it. I think it's fun. Yeah. yeah. No, it was really cute. You did a really great job. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your friend. Because you know me. I tell the truth. I'd be like, Oh, I know. I was in the like, that's box some together. bogus BS, Tanya. I don't know what was in that box, but you need to wrap right? this up now. Because <laughs> like, I was telling Kurt, Kurt, Oh my God, I'm putting Deb's box together right now. Quit talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always going to be honest. I'm never going to blow smoke up to somebody and be like, Oh, yeah, that's so great. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally roll with that. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Redneck Redneckerson says, my mom is 91 and only wears clip-on earrings, and they have to be tight and vintage. I was actually thinking about clip-ons as well because my ex-mother-in-law only wore clip-ons. She couldn't get her ears pierced because she would get keloids. Do you know what keloids are? Uh -uh. No. Okay. It's like where your skin, if you have an injury, your skin overheals itself. Oh. If you've ever seen people that have like a ball behind their ear, it almost uh -huh. looks like a ball, but it's a ball, or they've got like their scar is really puffy. It's uh -huh. like they have keloids. It's like their skin overheals. And so she could never get her ears pierced. And so she always just wears clip ons. Huh. I was going to ask you about that. Huh? Is that the same as keloid acidosis or something like that? that, that keto something acidosis? No, keto. I've that, heard that before. I that's don't know. ketoacidosis. That has to do with like diabetes. Keloids oh. it has to do with. It's a different. Yeah. Okay. It's with an L. Keto ketoacidosis with a T. But, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, Tanya, if you were gonna do like a, a clip-ons, and I was actually thinking mm -hmm. if you ever found ones that you can make into clip-ons, clip-ons that would be a good idea. Yeah, um, clip ones are really hard to find. Yeah, that's also an option when you order a box. So one of the questions is, do you prefer pierced or um, clip on earrings? Yeah, and I can style you for both. Yeah, that's awesome because I I know when I was trying to find her gifts, I could I had a really difficult time finding clip on earrings because they just don't have them. Yeah, so, it was definitely much more common back twenty years ago and earlier than mm -hmm. it is now. I agree. Yeah. So. I remember so my smart. mom and my grandma Facebook. You may not need a service. Why cut anybody else in? That's smart. You use your Facebook. Yeah. I I just I that's what I was trying to tell her as well. I was like, you know, you really could just set up a one page website and everything's just right there and they can subscribe through PayPal, has subscription buttons, and you can let them know, hey, there's gonna be a survey that's coming after this, fill the survey out, and you know, it could be a really simple process. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Right. And, um, and it doesn't have to be really expensive. I mean, you can really do it on your own. And I, I'm congratulations, Tanya. I think it's amazing. You took it you took it from start to finish, and that's something I rarely <laughs> ever do. So I, I'm always like, Yay, somebody finished something. You know? <laughs> I know. It's rare for me too. So thank you. I'm excited. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, when when I do have the information, I will put it down in the description box. It'll be at the top so that way you can kind of um take a look at it if you want to. This wasn't meant to be an advertisement. I was really just excited for you. So <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. Does anybody have anything else they want to talk about today before we wrap it on up? No. Oh. No, I'm just glad to be back. 
I know. I'm so glad you're here. I, I was thinking this morning, I was like, when is everyone coming back? And I think, I think everyone got that wavelength in the universe because April, we did. Call, April sent called it out there. me. We received it. Yeah. April <laughs> called me and she's like, I swear I'm going to be coming back. I miss the show so much. And then Holly was like, oh, when I get settled, I'm going to be back on this show. And then, <laughs> then I was like, I was like, yay, they must have got the signal because everybody, everybody was talking about how they were, oh, I'm, I'll be back this time. So without me asking, like, yeah. like, where is everyone? But all right, you guys. Well, I guess that's the end of us today. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad everybody came. Yeah, and me too. We will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.